Okay, I'm going to start out with prepping my skin. I'm going to be taking my Strobe Cream from MAC. This is one of my all-time favorite products. It just gives your skin the most beautiful glow. And that's one thing that I love about Hillary's um, makeup look is she always usually has really pretty glowy skin. And that's my favorite because I have more of a normal to dry skin. So when I can achieve a really glowy skin look, that's my favorite. Now I'm going to move on to the eyebrows. And Hilary Duff always has um, really nice to find eyebrows, but they're usually pretty light, nothing too dramatic. I'm going to be taking Omega from MAC, which is this light, kind of cool brown. And this is a product that I've actually used in my brows for a long time. I kind of switch out between um, brow pencil or Omega. I usually never use something darker than Omega though because I like actually pretty fair brows. So I'm just going to take Omega. I'm just going to lightly brush it through my brows. This is just going to kind of fill in any sparse areas and just give me a little bit more definition. Now that I filled them in a little bit, I'm going to take a Sonia Kasha kind of spoolie brush and I'm just going to kind of brush through them a little bit just so they look a little bit more natural. Okay, now I'm going to be moving on to the eye makeup. Usually I see her in like, um, like pretty bronzy smoky eyes or like natural skin with like a bright lip. I just, I feel like my makeup looks that what I would like to wear is real similar to Hilary Duff's. Now I'm going to be moving on to the eyes. The next product I'm going to be taking is Havana. And this was an extra dimension eyeshadow from, um, if you guys remember the extra dimension collection, the skin finishes. They had the highlighting powders and the eyeshadows. I've featured one of these in my tutorials before, but this is Havana. It's a really nice brown. And I'm going to take this on um, my 217 blending brush. I'm just going to pack on a little bit, and this is basically just going to be my base. And I'm just going to take this all over my lid. I feel like I see Hillary a lot of times in really pretty kind of just natural bronzy smoky eyes. And that's like my favorite look for every day. I feel like she does kind of smoke out her under eye area as well. So I'm going to take the um, angled brush. This one is a Sigma E65. I'm going to take this with Havana. This is the brush I use for my brows, and I'm just going to lightly apply this underneath my lash line. Just doing little strokes, and when I go inside my eye, I'm actually going to turn my brush this way. Makes it a little bit easier when you're going inside. Okay, I'm just going to lightly blend out that Havana before I keep moving along here. My 217 brush is getting a little dirty. Now I'm going to be taking Patina, which is one of my favorite. Sorry, I know my poor little bronze got broken. But this is Patina right here, which is a really nice, um, more of like a cool brown that's got like golden undertones. It's a really pretty color. Um, and I actually like to layer this over like a base or something just to bring it out more because it's actually pretty plain. I feel like it really needs, if it has a good base on it, it really gets amped up. So I'm going to take this on the same brush I've been using. I try to get as much as I can out of my brushes so I don't have to clean so many. So I'm taking this and I'm just going to pat this in the center. And this is going to basically just cool it down a little bit because with that Havana, it's super, super warm. I'm just trying to cool down. As you can see, it really toned down that really warm brown. So I'm just going to apply this just in the center. I feel like it gives a really nice effect on top of that Havana. Next, I'm going to be taking MIA from this Urban Decay palette here. I'm not exactly sure the name. This was a gift. I'm sure I could look it up and find it out. Um, I think it's called like the Anniversary Palette, 10th Anniversary Palette or something like that. Some type of Anniversary Palette, I don't know. I'm going to take that on the same brush and I'm just going to work that in the outer corner. Just like windshield wiper motions, making sure everything just gets really nice and blended. I'm going to be taking Power Surge Eye Cult from MAC. 
I absolutely love this product. Um, I usually actually like to take it in my waterline. And it's a really nice just golden pencil. And this is just going to enhance this kind of bronzy brown smoky eye we got going on here. Okay, just like that. I'm actually going to skip um, eyeliner on the top just because I'm actually not a huge fan of that. I actually feel like it makes my eyes look smaller. Even if I don't put it in the like actual rim of my eye, I feel like it just makes my eyes look so just dark and, and what, why, what, I was about to say brown and slow. How is that anything to do with small? Okay, so I'm going to be taking MAC's Hot and Naughty Mascara, which I love. Oh, MAC actually just came out with a new mascara, the Hot and Naughty 2 Black Lash. I actually haven't even opened this one yet because I'm trying to finish my other mascaras. But it looks like this. There's a little bit, this is the original and this is the new one. So it's just got like a darker wand here in front. It's just, it's basically the same formula, it's just just a richer black color. So they're just offering more black, it's just got more black pigment in it. So I actually like to take both steps when I'm doing my makeup. I like to take both steps in one go. I don't do like the defining step and then do the volumizing step at night. I just do both steps in one go because I love full lashes all the time. I feel like Hillary does too, always have like really nice voluminous lashes on top and bottom. Now I'm going to take the next wand, which is just, as you can see, it's just a lot thicker. Off a little bit. And then I'm going to go through and really amp up my lashes. Make them really, really full. Okay, now that I'm done with the eyes, I'm going to go back to my skin. Sorry, the lighting probably changed. I think the sun went behind some clouds, so I know now it's a little bit darker. Um, sorry about that. Okay, I'm going to be taking just my little MAC palette here. I'm going to be mixing a couple shades. Um, I always love, like I was putting on strobe cream before, like I feel like Hilary Duff always has really pretty glowy skin. And that's a look that I always love to achieve. I don't really like a matte look on my face just because I have more normal to dry skin and doesn't look great. So I'm going to take um, Chanel Pro Lumiere, which is one of my all-time favorite foundations, but it actually got discontinued, which is so sad. <laughs> but um, I'm going to be mixing 20 and 40 both. I might actually mix a little bit of um, from MAC Pro Mixing Medium. This is basically just going to thin it out and make it a little bit more luminous, not so thick. I might add a little bit of that in here. So as you can see here, I have it all on my palette. I'm going to be taking a Sigma Flat Top F80 Kabuki brush. I'm just going to mix that all on my palette, all together. And then I'm going to apply this to my skin. I'm just going to stipple it in first and then go back through and kind of buff it in. Okay, now that I have my foundation all over, I'm going to be mixing a couple Derma Blend concealers, um, Nude and Almond. And Hilary Duff always has a really pretty under eye kind of highlight. And I love that look too. That's why I use Derma Blend concealer because I get an amazing, flawless look out of it. Um, Derma Blend is really, really light, but it gives super good coverage. So I just, that's literally all I need. Just that little bit right there. I'm going to take a 224 brush from MAC and pop those underneath my eye. I'm going to take a little bit too. I have like a small blemish right in the middle of my forehead. It's like I don't usually break out ever because I have actually really good skin. I must have inherited it from my mother. But I never hardly break out. But if I do, I get one like, burp, like right in the middle of my forehead or like somewhere like super, super obvious when I do get them. I'm just going to add a little bit of this because I was actually watching an interview with Hilary Duff and she was talking about some of her skincare secrets and like flawless skin secrets. And she actually uses um, a skincare line that has like a refreshing mist spray that she puts shimmer in. And um, I immediately thought of Fix Plus 
and um, I put some silver dust inside of Fix Plus and I did this months and months ago but I just thought since I'm filming a Hillary Duff tutorial that I thought I would add this in here. So if you take a little bit of Fix Plus um, or get a little like travel size you can get a Mac store and put some silver dust highlighting powder in it, shake it up and it will give you like glowy skin. It's absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to spray this all over my skin and it'll give me a little bit of shimmer. Okay, I've kind of let that sink to my skin a little bit and dry a little bit. The next thing I'm going to take is actually my airbrush system from Dynair. I absolutely love this color Bronze Rose. And this is what it looks like. I know sometimes airbrushing, it does take some extra time. But actually, it's surprisingly really quick. Like you feel like getting out your airbrush system and your foundation and blush feels like it would take so much longer because it's like a machine. It actually is super, super quick. So I'm going to turn this on and I'm going to apply my bronze rose blush. And um, maybe later I'll do like a um, separate airbrushing video, but just for today, I'm going to be applying this blush. Okay, now I have it turned on. You can probably hear it. I only use literally a couple drops, like you hardly need any. So I'm basically just going to pull back on this little lever right here. And just start doing like circular motions. What's cool about the Dynair is they actually send you like little practice sheets with practice colors so you can kind of practice how far you need to keep it away from your cheek and things like that. Okay, I just applied a really natural amount. I don't want too much. I'm going to be taking Prep and Prime Transparent Finishing Powder because my makeup, even though I want glowy skin, I'm just going to focus the powder on areas uh, where it might come off. like up here on the side like if I'm on the phone because even though I don't really have oily skin my makeup still won't last all day long if I don't use some sort of like setting powder or something but I still feel like the transparent powder still lets the glow come through with my skin okay and I think to finish off everything I'm going to be taking Smashbox lip gloss in Illume it's a really pretty kind of natural golden color I'm just going to apply this on our lips. 